going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Movie 1, Ironhide. So stick around if you want to know more about Studio Series Ironhide. And before we move on to the packaging, you guys may notice that there is uh, different languages on the box. So I'm going to try my best to review the packaging. Uh, I got this from Taiwan, so it's uh, the packaging and the instruction manual is a little bit different. But we'll cover all that later. So yeah, let's move on to the packaging. So on the front of the box, you got a nice picture of Ironhide. A weird CGI looking image. I don't know, it looks a little bit glossier than uh, those do, but whatever. Um, he is uh, from the Studio Series line. He is an Autobot Ironhide. I have no idea what that means. SS-15 Transformers. Transformers Takara Tomy. Notice there is no Hasbro. This is the Takara Tomy edition. So yeah, on the side of the box, you just got uh, another CGI picture of Ironhide. Just Voyager class here. Studio Series Autobot. On the back of the box, you got a picture of Ironhide when you get out of the packaging. That only sticker's in the way, but yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, this is kind of where the language stuff starts. So yeah, I can't really do uh, what I normally do, but here, uh, let's just do what we can. He, his name is Ironhide, Transformers, Autobot, and that's kind of it. I imagine that is a bio, but I cannot read that. So if you're a viewer out there who may, uh, may be able to read that, good for you. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, you got some pretty interesting text and stuff. This is really cool to have a um, packaging from a studio, uh, a studio series packaging from a different country. That is really cool. And then on the very side, last side of the box, another picture of Ironhide. Cool. Top of the box, Transformers. On the bottom of the box, stuff that, again, I cannot read. So uh, yeah. There you have the packaging. And just before we move on to the toy, we need to uh, address the instruction manual because uh, it is a little bit different. So, you know, I, know, I don't normally really review instruction manuals, but um, yeah, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit different from the other Studio Series line uh, instruction manuals, just considering this is the Cartomi edition. Uh, yeah, it's very masterpiece uh, like. Um, yeah, <laughs> interesting. This is uh, actually a lot easier to follow in the Hasbro, or than the Hasbro uh, instruction manuals. At least in my opinion, anyways. I found this very easy to uh, transform using this manual. So I just wanted to go over that. Very nice. Uh, indeed. Uh, let just pull that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So here we have Transformer Studio Series Ironhide in his robot mode. And man, I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am to finally have this guy. He is by far my favorite Transformer in my entire collection. Like, I know I said that Sideswipe is my favorite actual character, but in terms of favorite toy, Ironhide takes takes it. It's just, this is movie masterpiece material, in my opinion. This is a perfect figure. I mean, wow. The design is perfect. It is awesome so do a quick little 360 here everything tabs in quite nicely this figure is just you have to have it in your collection it's wonderful 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 toy i love it so much oh i can do, i'm just gonna say that on the entire video um the only complaint that i have with mine anyways um that um this um i got a little bit of a paint error here it's kind of a faded paint stripe there i don't I, that's something that's probably just on my copy anyways but that is there on mine, unfortunately. So I'm not sure if it's an ongoing problem, but, uh, yeah. Uh, and then, just another complaint I had. This is just, you know, me being picky is this little bumper area here. I do not like that at all. That is very, very disgusting. That's just, it kind of ruins the uh, awesome detail. But honestly, it is not a uh, big price to pay for a figure that looks as good, in my opinion. So, yeah, despite that being there, this is just perfect. The perfect figure. Uh, just one more thing I wanted to address is this is this is an ongoing problem. I made sure of it. Uh, is his head sculpt? As you can see right there, that paint uh, on one of his eyes is a little off from the other. Um, that is a little interesting. I've never seen that uh, in the actual Ironhide picture in the movie. But uh, I guess it's not the biggest thing in the world. It's just a toy. It still looks wonderful on the shelf though. So uh, those are just minor minor flaws. But otherwise, again, I'm going to say the entire video: perfect, perfect figure. Just wonderful, wonderful. So, yeah. There's not much to say other than he is just freaking awesome. <laughs> now, I guess we can just go into articulation. Now, uh, the articulation, at least on his hands, is a little obstructed considering uh, these areas here are uh, uh, kind of... Uh, 
They're, they're in the way. Let's just say that. They're in the way. So it doesn't really uh, give you the option to pose around his hands that much. But you do get a little bit of rotation. You can uh, move his shoulder backwards like that. He does have a bicep rotation. You can move it up like that. And this little section here does move around if you want it to. Cool. Same thing on the side. And for the head, it is on a uh, ball joint. But these are in the way. So I uh, can't really move around that much. Uh, now, you can't actually move these a little bit out of the way, but uh, they're kind of stiff, honestly. They're just really stiff. Um, yeah, you can kind of sort of move them around uh, a little bit, but why even bother? It's, yeah. So, yeah, and then just one more thing is uh, this area is supposed to clip into his head, but if you want, if you try to do that, these will move out of the way, and it just doesn't look right. I like to have it just kind of sitting down a little bit. And even on the back of the box, if you take a look here, on the back of the box here, they have it kind of the way I'm doing it right here. They don't have his chest all the way plugged in. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I've been doing. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's just, uh, yeah. I mean, yes, you can clip it in, but like I said, you kind of have to move these out of the way. It gives you uh, less creativity, I guess, uh, for moving these around. I mean, it still looks pretty good, but I don't know. It just doesn't really scream Ironhide. Uh, but if you have it like this, you can kind of move these kind of like, that and then you can give him that iron head look that he had in the movie so yeah there you go uh now he does not have waist rotation i know <laughs> it, it's not it's not the end of the world if he doesn't have waist rotation but honestly i think they could have pulled that off if they really tried but uh yeah they they didn't <laughs> well i mean not that they didn't try on terms of the figure they totally did this is just awesome but i mean if they tried putting waist rotation on the figure yeah they could have pulled it off but they they didn't but um yeah uh, again, small price to pay for a figure that looks as good. Now he does include some weapons. He gets his uh, little arm cannons. It looks really, really good. I like these weapons a lot. Uh, this uh, is uh, his rocket launcher, I believe. I, I don't know what these guns are. And then this is like a fusion cannon. I don't know. But to attach, uh, to attach these, you see these little holes on his arms. Uh, you can choose whatever um, arm you want them to be on. But I like to have it the traditional Ironhide uh, gun position i don't know <laughs> so i just like to peg them on like this go just tabs in like that same thing on this side and there you go now you have iron hide all armed up and ready to go so that looks really good now again since these are in the way his arms can't really pose around that much that's a little unfortunate but you can get some uh, shooting poses just a little bit kind of like to the side a little bit i'm kind of like that um, that's not really a complaint, I guess, because you can still pull off some pretty cool poses with this guy, but, you know, whatever. So now for size comparison, here he is next to Transformers Studio Series, uh, Sideswipe, his buddy Sideswipe. Nice. Okay. Here he is next to Transformers Studio Series, Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. So yeah, Optimus Prime is a little bit taller than Ironhide there, but... Still works off. That uh, works out pretty nicely, in my opinion. Uh, and now I do own a uh, original Dark of the Moon um, Ironhide, but I have him in his truck mode right now. So I figured let's save that to when we transform Ironhide. So yeah. So yeah, there you go. Uh, now the very last thing to do, you know, uh, you could take the backdrop out of the packaging and display Ironhide however you want, just like that. So there you go. That looks pretty good. I like that. Very nice. Let's see. Get the camera focused there. There we go. Nice. I don't know. I said that it was going to be the last thing, but I nearly forgot. Accuracy. Movie accuracy. So, let's do that real quick. So, as you can see on the screen, here is a picture of Iron Hyde from what he looked like in the live action movie. So, now you can see how accurate he looks. Pretty accurate, in my opinion, at least. Well, not pretty accurate. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> this is actually really accurate. Like, this is probably the best Ironhide figure we're going to get, uh, in, at least in terms of uh, Studio Series or Deluxe, you know, Voyager stuff. I already know that they have a um, Masterpiece version of him, but, yeah, I'm not going to be collecting ma movie Masterpiece cl uh, figures for a little while now. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we can get into the transformation. So, uh, how would I rate this? <laughs> it's not actually that hard, actually. It's pretty, pretty simple. But, uh, there is one thing. This could just be my figure. The doors, these sections here, do not want to tab in, uh, that well. Yes, you can pull it off, but it is extremely hard to do. So, this transformation is going to be a little long because they just do not want to tab in. So, 
That being said, I'm going to give it, in terms of how hard it is, maybe a 7. Just that last, like, it is legitimately really hard to push those doors in. Again, could just be my figure, but, you know, I just, I don't know. Okay, so first thing I like to do, take these sections here, just spread them out like this. Nice, okay? Now you can take these sections here, kind of just move them out of the way, and take the hubcap areas and just fold them in, kind of like that. There we go. So once you have that, just kind of move these out of the way, and now you can go to the back and untap the backpack and just kind of leave it leaning there for now. Now you can take his arms and just rotate it back for now. Like that. Cool. So now what you want to do, take his head, just kind of get it out of the way there. And you want to take this area here and untap it, just like that. His chest plate will fold in underneath his head, like that. And then you can slide these areas here, just like this, and tap them together. Sorry, it's not focusing. Go. Okay, come on, tap into place. There we go. Okay, so now you have the front of the truck there. Okay, now the arms, you just need to bring them up like that. Oh, you cannot see that. You just need to bring them up like this and just kind of rest them there for now anyways. Just like that. Cool. Same thing on this side. Go over here. Rotate these up. Just like that. Rest them there for now. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, now you can take these areas here. Uh, actually, just leave them here for now. Okay, now you can go back to the backpack, swing it up like that, and flip out the glass. And collapse the backpack on top of the arms and stuff. Oh boy. His arms are also a little bit fiddly, I forgot to mention that. They're not they're not super easy to mess with, but again, after a little while of transforming him, you can get him into his truck mode. No sweat. See, this section is not wanting to go in today. What am I doing wrong here? Oh. See, this could not have anything to do with it, but you never know. You never know with these Transformers, you could be doing something totally unrelated to what uh, the problem is, and then you fix it, and then bam, it works. Ugh. Okay, I did something wrong with this hand. I'll come back whenever I fix it. Okay, got that done. Now we can move on to the legs. Take the section here, and just untap it, swing it around like that. Now take this, just collapse it down, you'll hear a click. That is not a bad sign, just, yep, click it down like that. Take this area here. Oh boy, what do I do now? Oh, right. Yeah, not supposed to do that. I am very sorry about that. You just need to bring back the legs. Hang on now. This is going to be a little bit difficult. There we go. Okay, you're supposed to uh, actually just swing these down first. I forgot about that. Just swing these down first. The click may actually be bad. I am sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, just swing that down like that. Okay. Now you should have that. Now make sure the back of the truck is pushed down and tab it into the bottom of the bumper. Just like that. There you go. And then you can just flip out the wheels. Just like that. Same thing on the side. Ugh. Oh boy. That is not supposed to happen. There we go. Just like that. Alright, nice. Uh, now you can just flip out the uh, wheel like that. And then... Tap the legs together like that. There is a gap right there. That is not something you can fix as far as I know, but yeah. Now, I believe there is an upgrade kit for this, but I don't have any interest in buying it, uh, at least right now anyways, because I'm trying to uh, get the uh, Masterpiece line. Once I do that, we'll get back into Studio Series collecting, but yeah. So now that you have that done, you can just bring this up like that, and this is the hard part that I was talking to you about. You need to collapse these in like that, and they're supposed to tab in like... <laughs> what? There is, yeah, like, that one just slid right in. Why, last night when I was transforming this thing, I literally had to apply so much force to this thing to get this to tab in. As soon as the camera turns on, every problem I have with the transformation goes away. Wonderful. Let's hope this side is the same way. Yep. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> Okay, well, all I can tell you is that that can happen when you get them out of the box, so, um, wow. Wow, I just can't believe, even believe that that happened. <laughs> Alright, so here you have Transformers Studio Series, Movie 1 Ironhide, in his truck mode. And wow, this thing, again, amazing. I love it. This is the best Ironhide figure that I have ever seen by far.
so good. Now the undercarriage, yes, I, uh, you guys can get proud as you want going with this. There's a bit of a, uh, a bunch of junk under there, but it's a transformer here. It's not, it's not a model car here. Uh, and then you do get this giant gap here, which I don't think is fixable, but yeah, okay. That's the only problem with the uh, truck mode, but yeah, uh, other than that, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful truck mode. So good. Now he rolls amazingly well, not surprisingly. This tab under here, I thought it wasn't going to roll at all, but it rolls just like Scrapper does. Wonderful. Uh, and then, actually, I noticed a little bit of an Easter egg. This could have just been a weird coincidence, but it could also be an Easter egg. On the toy here, as you can see, Iron Head's head is kind of poking out through the glass. Well, uh, for all those uh, G1 collectors out there, you may know that the G1 Ironhide did the same thing. When you transformed him into van mode, the head would stick out through the glass. So, I, I, you know, I don't know if that's uh, a little bit of a Easter egg there, but that's that's very cool. I actually I kind of like that. <laughs> so cool. Now, the detail. Cool. Uh, the GMC logo, I love that they actually put that in there. That is just wonderful. I like that. Um, now, for the bumper, it doesn't really bother me in truck mode. Now, now, some people are saying it bothers them because of the color. For me, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if I really wanted to, I can get some metallic paint and just go over it real quick. But, yes, I am aware that the upgrade kit does give you a new bumper. Uh, I am not sure if I'm going to buy that or not. I am just not sure. If I do, I will totally make a review on it, but... I'm not really into upgrade kits for Transformers. I just kind of buy them the way and just uh, accept the way they are. So, yeah, I mean, maybe later on uh, yeah, I'll start getting into uh, upgrade kits. But for now, it doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, for truck mode, you can kind of see where that paint uh, thing happened. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but looks like some white got on there. Uh, I don't I don't know how that happened, but it's not, it's not the end of the world for me anyways. Uh, so yeah, uh, just, wow, I, I love this truck mode. He is a lot bigger, by the way, than I, uh, what I thought he was going to be. This guy is huge, literally huge. And I'll do a size comparison here in a minute, but there's a few more things we need to go over. The 4X4, that's cool, 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 nice. The Autobot symbol, nice. GMC right there, that is cool again. So yeah, nice. Uh, now, uh, you may be wondering, is there weapon storage? Yes, there is. Uh, these tabs back here, we'll just tab into the guns like this. Okay. And you can have his guns. That's silly and cool at the same time. I really like that. kind of gives uh, like a back to the future look, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know. What do you guys think? Doesn't that bit back there kind of remind you of the DeLorean uh, from Back to the Future? See what I mean? <laughs> go nice so yeah that look it's just got that gear and the things in the back that just kind of really reminds me of the back to the future of the DeLorean. um yeah i mean wow <laughs> that's that's really cool i don't know why it reminds me of that but it just does so yeah and so now for size comparison here he is next to transformers uh the original transformers dark of the moon hunt for the decepticons ironhide you can see the size difference look at that this thing is tiny <laughs> wow yeah so there you go and there's a lot more design on this than uh this one had so yeah nice and here he is next to transformers uh gamestop exclusive uh hang on one second sorry uh gamestop exclusive um ectotron yeah i'm gonna keep doing size comparisons with this uh until we hit 20 subscribers. So, you know what I'm going to say? We are so close to 20. We can do it, guys. So close to 20 subscribers, we can do it. Yep. So close. And actually, Ironhide is uh, about the same size as Exotron. Uh, Exotron, sorry. So, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> we are so close. I cannot believe it. Yep, I know. I'm going to say it again. Like I said, 10 subscribers special like a million times. I know it is not a milestone, but hey, you know what? I don't care. It is uh, bigger than what I thought I would get on YouTube. So, yeah, so, so, so close. We can do it, guys. We can do it. So, yeah, there you go. So nice. That's a precise comparison. Thank you guys so much for watching this story review. It really means a lot that you take the time to stop on my channel and watch the content on it. If you consider liking and subscribing, that would be greatly appreciated. Like I said in the video, we are so close. We just need one more subscriber, and we will hit 20 subscribers, and we will review the legendary Ecto Drone. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you can help us reach that goal, that would just be awesome. 
and uh, just yeah, <laughs> we're also uh, share the channel with somebody that you may uh, know that likes uh, Transformers or any other toy line. Uh, we're trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so if we can hit that goal, that'll be really appreciated. Again, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Wait, nope, not done yet. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, just some uh update on the stop motion series. Um, I'm sorry that I have not published that yet. I know it's taking forever, but um, yeah, it is just it's been busy the past couple days. Even though we've just been stuck in quarantine, my state has opened back up again, so we've been kind of busy. Um messing around with some stuff so yeah um i'll try and get that published out as soon as i can it is almost finished i just gotta work on some audio and just do a few more scenes and we will be done with episode one so yeah uh now officially i'll see you in this video goodbye